Good morning, good morning, everybody. Just listening to Brother Johnny Law on the Elijah streams, which I'm going to tell you right now, Elijah streams. You guys, you guys, you need to take a good hard look at yourselves. You need to go before the Lord. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to say one name, and you're going to know. And that name is Mark Taylor. Now, Johnny was talking about what's coming. He was talking about Daniel and, and uh, King Nebuchadnezzar and all those things that happened, okay? I just want to throw one thing out because Johnny hit on it, and I know the Lord showed this to me some time ago. Johnny said that that the prayers of 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 the saints, you know, the prayers of the saints have been going on, uh, you know, for the past couple of few years. The intercessors have been praying for Trump and for the Lord and for God's kingdom. Okay, but what I want to tell you is this: what God showed to me, God said to me, that there are prayers going back generations that are like seeds that are like seeds. And then the Lord brought to me a brother, Brother Richard, prayer warrior, I love you, brother. The Lord brought to me prayer warrior, and he said, John, did you know that the redwoods, the giant redwoods, the pine cones have the seeds in them, and they won't open until they've been through a series of things. And I remember him saying that one of the things is they have to be frozen, okay, and then they have to go through a fire, okay? And they can lay a long time before those things happen and then they come about. What the Lord told me was, John, there have been my saints who have been praying for generations, whose prayers are not unlike a seed which has not come to fruition, which has not opened, which is preserved and held to be opened and to come about and joined with the other seeds in a specific time. Folks, I'm going to tell you, the time. We're in that time. Johnny, I love you, brother. The Lord said, He's harbored those seeds of the saints of generations past, for many generations, for, for a time such as this. Time such as this. Glory to God intercessors prayer warriors you who are the saints in the kingdom of God it's not just our prayers glory to God it's the prayers of the kingdom saints for generations which have been held in the hand of God whose tears have been collected in the golden bowls which are are held for this time. Now is the time. And evil, evil knows, and they are trembling. And now is the time that they will begin to run and hide, just as my brother Johnny said. It's the truth. It's the truth. But I wanted to just throw that out there real quick, and uh, I'm, I'm running down the mountain here. I, I got to be careful. I, uh, I, 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 I'm gonna turn it around. No, you can't see, I don't think. Anyway. Anyway, I'm running down the mountain. Listen, I love you guys. Don't give up. It's been such a horrible fight. I know. But don't give up. Our God has not abandoned us. In fact, our God has adopted us. Those of us who have been abandoned by our friends and our family and by this very world, by society and everyone else, glory to God, we are not abandoned. We are adopted into the greatest kingdom ever by the greatest father ever, the Lord God Almighty, Adonai, Elohim, Yahweh through his son by his blood his good and perfect blood which he laid down on the cross a little over 2,000 years ago that's who we are that's who you are saint and let me tell you something our God's grace and mercy is sufficient it does not go without being 
personified, being displayed, being used, these things. It's called keeping it real, right? Keeping it real. Listen, I'm nobody perfect. I am not the Christ. You are not the Christ. We all, as, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, Oh, my brother can't think of his name, Duck Dynasty. Phil, as Phil, when he had a talk with President Trump, he said, you know, you you got a lot of sins, don't you? President Trump said, oh, yeah, I got a lot of sins. And Phil said, well, I got a lot of sins, too. Ain't none of us don't got none. And that's the truth. We're sinners. But we have been saved, restored before Father God by the blood of the Lamb, the good and perfect final atonement for the sins of for the fallen state of the flesh that we could be reunited and have a personal relationship with Father God Adonai Elohim Yahweh personally through His Son Jesus Christ which became the good and perfect sacrifice. Brothers and sisters in the Jewish community hear what the Lord has to say. He loves you. He loves you. He is calling out to you. He's telling you this. He's telling you this. What I just said. His son. His son is that good and perfect sacrifice. His son did come in the flesh. That, that, that's that's uh, uh, Emmanuel. God with us. God with us in the flesh. Emmanuel. Hear me, brothers and sisters. God's coming for you. He's not going to let you go. You true Hebrews. You true Hebrews. Not you false Hebrews. Not the ones in Revelations book 3 that talks about, that he's talking, that the Lord speaks about uh, when, he, when, he, when, he's, when he's telling the angel of Philadelphia to write this down. Those Jews... Those Jews who have who have turned away from God and His ways and have endorsed the false light, the fallen one, Satan, Lucifer. They have made their choice. The Lord is calling out to all one final time. One final time. I've told you before, God has saved this world two times, two times before. The first time He saved the world, He saved them from the, from the first generation offspring of the matings between the fallen angels, the angels that fell, that followed, that, that did not keep their first abode, that were thrown out of heaven, that came to the earth saw the daughters of men and took and took unto them all that they should have and mated with them and had an offspring an unholy offspring an irredeemable offspring and those were the original first generation giants and they were huge those are now known as the demons okay god saved the world the first time because that that unholy he will remove the name the word i want to use from me all the time here uh, abominations um, when you put things together and you have an unexpected result that's what they were they're not meant to be okay and they were so big that they ate everything on the earth and when they had ate everything on the earth they started to eat man they started to eat man's blood and the voice of the men who had not been eaten yet reached the ears of God Elohim Yahweh God got off of his throne and came down and he said enough. And that's when he locked the watchers, put the watchers, the fallen angels under the rocks, pointy rocks, somewhere under the earth. Johnny just said there are earthquakes happening in a certain place in Antarctica. Isn't it strange that all across the world nobody can get along, not one country gets along with another, but they all signed a peace treaty to be able to come together in Antarctica. Hmm. No coincidences, guys. Anyway. That's the first time God saved the world. 
He turned. He told them the the, the fathers, the fallen angels. I'm gonna I, now. I'm gonna make your children destroy each other. And so they ate each other, and they were destroyed. But because they're an eternal being, they had a spirit. Because they were mated with a spiritual being, humans and angels themselves are created to be eternal creatures. God said, "You will roam the face of the earth." until the day of judgment, and at which time you will be cast into the fire. That's the first time God saved the world. The second time is a story everybody knows. It's told in many generations, uh, uh, many, many, uh, many peoples, many nations all around the world in antiquity, and that's the flood, the great deluge, the flood of Noah, the story of Noah and his sons. Okay? And what happened? Genesis 6 talks about, and there were giants in the land in those days, and after okay so 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 those giants were after okay and, and those are the uh those are the uh, uh the, the, well the, the philistine you know goliath was one of them uh, uh oh i can't think of the names of them. lord help me the 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 amorites the hittites uh i believe the jesubites there were many of the ites and kemes anakim the raphaim uh the nephilim uh, those, and I may be wrong here. You guys can check it out, straighten me out, send me a message, document it. I want, I want the evidence. I want the proof of where it came from. Don't just holler at me. You give me proof. We're, we're in a time of truth, okay? And here's what I have to say to you all. That's what I say. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Uh, so anyway. That's the second time God saved the world, and God is in the process of saving it one last and final time, the third time. Okay. You people have, many, many, many people have no idea the times that we live in and how, how awesome and amazing they are. These are the times, guys. These are the times. Glory to the Lord our God Almighty. Out of, out of Elohim, Yahweh, to His way, His Son. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, through His Holy Spirit, the Rach HaKodesh. Glory to the Lord God Almighty. Listen, hear what I'm saying, guys. This is so important. It's so important. I heard Johnny talk about, and I loved it. He said, he said, you know, he said, even, uh, even the wicked ones say this about the people who say there is no God at all. There, there is, there, 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 uh, forget what you call them. They don't believe in any God. They don't believe in the supernatural, the spirit. Even they call them fools. It's real. It's more real than you can have any idea of. Some of you know. Some of you have come out of the darkness and walk in the path on the, in, in, walk in the light on the path that's the right way. Um, I just wanted to. I just wanted to throw this out, uh, 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 Johnny. I'm not correcting you. I love you, brother, and I, I'm, I've listened to that. I've listened to that post probably three or five times now, and I'm going to listen again. Glory to God, uh, and I'm praying over it. Uh, I take everything to the Lord God Almighty uh, in prayer, uh, and you should too. You don't trust nobody. You don't trust no man. You trust the Lord God Almighty. All right, I'm done. I got to get off here. I love you guys. Bless you. Bye.